Well, the wire the wiring is coming along pretty good. I, I just had my first foul up. I, I broke the reed switch trying to cram it into a tiny hole. That was a mistake. I need to thread it down that hole and I overdid it. I overstretched its capabilities. But in any case, you can see how we have these wires in grooves and now a hole. So they are really routed and it's all self-explanatory. These two are this side, these two are that side, and I've checked that out with the ohmmeter, by the way. So we're making great progress. I've got the springs on the wheels and they've been tested. I've mounted the motor controller and the power distribution. I've got the uh, power to the um, volt regulator for smoke wired, and I have power to from uh, uh, from the power distribution down to the motor controller wired. These are the outputs here for the motor. They, they go up to the front. And I put the connector onto the soundboard. The soundboard, soundboard is an old ERR electric railroad, and it takes AC and converts it and handles it. So I just tapped it in. I did this off the other one, too. I just tapped it off the inputs to this rectifier. And this rectifier handles the uh, sound system, so that's exactly where that power would have come from. The um, smoke power is coming from the lower piece, and that's isolated because it can get huggy, huggy, like. Um, other wiring is TBD, but we're close. And um, the speaker, I need to find another one and, and put it together, but I feel very, very nice with that wiring. Doesn't that look cool? It looks like a, a I don't know what, but it's all right. And the um, shell fits and all that. I just have to get this trigger for the sensor in and the magnet for that particular, um, this particular roller. I have to drill it out and put the magnet in. So we're going to be fine. It's going to be okay. Uh, more later. Tomorrow's another day.